Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We are jumping in. We are on an 8 streak. I think we're going to go and do Greed Mode as Isaac. Pretty basic one, pretty normal. Again, as I've said before, with Greed Mode, um, I will try and do two. Um, oh, generous. Maybe should have gone straight for the item room there. That's kind of the good choice you get. But, pretty good item to be honest. So, I'm not that asked about getting the... Uh, about getting the item room straight off the bat. But yeah, I was just about to say, um, as is with this series, really, you gotta do this to me. As is with this series um, with Greed Mode, if we manage to beat this in under 25 minutes, um, oh god, having some of these being fully enemies is scaring me. Yeah, if we manage to beat this in under 25 minutes, then I will, um, oh, you need to toss off. <laughs> I'm just getting annoyed all these baby spiders, fuck off. Um, then I'll do two runs in a video because you all deserve it so much. I am recording this on the same day as the last video that you guys watched, but it is much, much later in the day. I've, I've lived a whole life since then. Things have changed. Seasons have passed and I've watched a whole few episodes of Come Dine With Me. God damn, that show is amazing. Anyone that's British. Come Dine With Me is just like an absolute classic. And if you don't think it is, then you're basic, unfortunately. Nah, to be fair, watching Come Dine With Me is pretty basic, but it's like, I feel like it's like one of the whitest things you can do. <laughs> but I enjoy it so much. It's literally just people cooking and arguing. It's like, what what what's not to love? Um, I, I love cooking and seeing people, it's like that nice cringe factor of when you know how to cook and you're watching people cook poorly, it's just, it has that right cringe factor that you kind of need. Um, there's no items in here that I want, although, ooh, for the first time you enter a room, okay, that's actually terrible. <laughs> that's actually gosh damn awful in greedy mode, in greed or greedy mode. Um... That's also pretty terrible. Um, large amount of contact damage, but dies after blocking three projectiles, responds in the next room. Yeah, also pretty bad. Um, we can buy an item on this floor, but I'm honestly gonna say let's just not. Uh, it says high contact damage. I don't know how high that is. Also, I completely forget how this guy works. And honestly, in a large room, this guy would be normally fine. But I think with the addition of the webs everywhere, this guy might be a bit tricky. Um, the enemies that have dropped all these webs all over the place have caused issues. Okay, there is some significant glitchage going on with the mods that, uh, that change how these guys work and the reskins for greed mode. Oh, they're spectral tears. Of course they are. Idiota. But, luckily, not too bad. Unfortunately, our frail fly did die. I don't think he's going to be very much long for this world at all, ever. Um, but yeah, as for the question of the day today, as for the question of the day today, what is something that makes you cringe really hard? Because yeah, bad cooking is, is is definitely a big point for me, but I do, I do thoroughly enjoy cringe. Like, some people really find it tough to watch cringe. I mean, like, I'm a, I'm a big Office fan, um, The American Office, and there's a few episodes in that that anyone that watches it will know are like notorious for their cringe factor and a lot of people tend to skip them specifically because of how cringy they are. Um, one such of those being uh, Scott's Tots, uh, which for those of you that, that haven't seen it is, oh, it's it's got a lot of cringe in it. My goodness. Okay, this a little tricky. I might even use a bomb here. I'm not sure. Dude, there's so many haunts. What the hell? Um, that episode, so basically um, Michael Scott, the the manager of the office when he was like 20 or like mid 20s he basically went into a college and promised a bunch of like like really young kids that he'd pay for their college uh, tuition and um, because he thought he was going to be a millionaire by the time he was 50 and or like 45 whatever and then it comes to the actual time where they're graduating college and he has to tell them all that he can't afford to pay for it because he's not actually a millionaire as he thought he would be and everyone just hates how cringy it is which i completely i do agree with it is pretty cringe but at the same time i i, I can i can handle it and i kind of somewhat relish it and yeah cooking cringe is definitely a big one for me um Come down with me is just, it's just got so much of it. Um, all beggars and slot machines will display a fortune alongside the possible payouts. Ooh, how good. Um, I mean, this is pretty much a uh, given. 
Right, go check our rooms first. What 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 room is this? A sacrifice room. D sacrifice room is a weird one for uh, greed mode, to be honest, because it's like it's kind of interesting because you get to buy HP like on the regular. So in that regard, it could be pretty good. I I'm honestly gonna go for this. What's the trinket? Um, probably not gonna pay out, but my my thinking is this could pay out big. Eh, it wasn't exactly big, but that trinket is pretty good, so... And honestly, I don't really need the HP up, um, because I'm going to buy Leshy here, and Leshy is better. And then I'll probably buy the Bar of Soap there as well. Honestly, we could play into you a little bit too here. I probably should have done that before buying Leshy, but... Eh. Really? You tight-fisted asshole. Can't believe you didn't even pay out with a single, single drop of anything for me there. Always blow up these guys to see what you might get, and we keep on, keep on keeping on. I just like Leshy because it changes your tears into tax, and I don't know why, but I really like that. Or push pins, or whatever you want to call them. We don't call them tax in the UK, but I thought that's that's language that most people can understand. It's a American game, I think. Where is Edmund from? I'm pretty sure he's American. I don't actually know. I'm, I'm almost certain he is, but I don't know where from in America, I'll be honest. Um... But yeah, like, oh, there's been some absolute classics. The arguments usually are, are sort of a big, uh, a big like, component of the cringe. But honestly, sometimes the cringe just comes from the, their inability to cook, but also their overconfidence about their cooking skill. Like, some of them think that they are just master chefs, and they just make some absolute dog shit. Um, and then also you just get some people that, like, have clearly never eaten a meal in their entire life. Those of you that have been watching um, my series with Never Named in Enter the Gungeon, the episodes I do with him, we talk a lot about crappy cooking videos that we watch online, and there is certainly an element of that that, that, that is familiar. Oh god, that was a good hit. That is familiar when uh, watching Come Down With Me. Like, one of them was this, like, fucking chav guy that was, like, in his sort of late 40s that was acting like he was sort of in his early 20s out on the lash and like going to clubs and all this sort of stuff and oh it was it was really cringy he was trying to relive his youth in the big way he was like proper into the 90s like way too into the 90s um and uh basically ev in every single person's house for, for those of you that don't know come down with me by the way basically it's five episodes for each set of people and one episode is centered around one person and they have a night at each person's house where they cook them a meat cook them a three course meal and entertain them in between and then they rate them based on how they do um and yeah this this guy um he for every single day that he went to someone else's house he brought his own booze even to a muslim's house who didn't drink he brought his own booze it was like oh come on thou that's like Oh, Lord. That's, like, just not okay. Um, and, um, it was all, like, cans of Stella and stuff, like, really cheap booze. Oh, God. And then, yeah, for his meal, so, he made a, a myriad of just tragedies. The, the first was, he, I can't remember what his starter was, but his main was, um, was on, on the menu that, that everyone else got and everyone else read. It was called, like, the Curry Mile Surprise, or the Curry Mile Special. And the Curry Mile is actually, a, a, like, a known street near near where, to, near where to I live, actually. Um, sort of near me. Well, I won't say near me, but I'm in, I'm in sort of the area. And, um, as, as you'd probably imagine, the Curry Mile is a, a strip of road, on average, around a mile long, in which there's a lot of places that sell curry. Uh, that's kind of the whole deal. Uh, I'm not going to re-roll again because all those were trash. Um, uh, and, and yeah, so you would imagine, you would imagine based on the name of his dish, that he would be serving curry. <laughs> you would be wrong. For some reason, this man in a, a baffling move. Ooh, um, double damage to bosses is kind of good. I don't know. Toothpicks is definitely good here. I'm really not sure. That's like pretty good, but not amazing. I'm gonna take it. I kinda wish I was taking the dog's head now. Um, just because we can like bash out some bosses pretty quick. A little bit of shame there. Got some buttons here. Ooh, car battery. Jar of flies. J 
you know, car battery is lovely, but jar flies and jar flies doesn't work with car battery. But I think jar flies is better here, mainly because it's half price, but also because we're going to be able to rack that up real fast. Um, yeah, so he doesn't make a curry, which would be the exact expected thing that this man would make, obviously, calling it the curry mile special or whatever it was called. It was something with the curry mile name in it. Um, what he made was uh, like a kebab, like a shish kebab, like a basically like a kofta sort of thing um, that was pretty grim looking. It didn't look very appetizing, it kind of just looked like some slightly anemic meat rolled into a tube. And ugh, it just wasn't, it was pretty rough. Um, and yeah, obviously everyone hated it. But then the real tragedy, the real cringe fest comes with the dessert. So I don't know how many of you are into cooking or know much about cooking, but I'm fairly certain most people, most people that know the lightest amount of cooking, maybe if you have no knowledge, you might not, but know how to melt chocolate properly, right? You don't just put it in a pot and put heat under it. You don't just put it in a microwave. You have to melt it over steaming water. Basically, you, you get a pan, you boil water, and then you put a bowl with the chocolate in it over that boiling water so the steam heats up the, the bowl and melts it that way. Um, not everyone might not know that. It's not like a super common knowledge thing, but um, it is one of those things that I feel like a good amount of people know. Um... Electric dice is like, it's very good, but I don't think it'll do anything with this active, unfortunately. Same with car battery. Both those items are like my favorite items in the game, but I just don't think they'll do anything for us. Um, although the uh, although the um, freezing enemies thing won't work for us, I actually think that's a really good item for us to grab, just because of the damage that it gives us. It might work, but I doubt it will. Um... Yeah, and this man... Oh, it works with these bombs. Okay, this changes everything for this fight. Changes everything. Get out of my face, you. Right. Got you. Oh, that was a really good bomb. Holy shit. Okay. Some of these are a little harder to throw than others. Damn it. He's, he's kind of hard to hit. Holy sugar tits. That's a lot of brimstones. I still got hit by it as well. I mean, I can just kill him like this. This will kill him fast. There you go. Ow, you bastard. He hit me way more than he should have done then. There's a lot of detritus in the room right now. Yes! Beautiful. Oh, Devil Deal? Come on, we'll check it out, but I'm not super impressed with that, to be honest. Hungry. Oh, really? That red fire actually shot? I was trying to loop around it to try and put it out before it shot me, but it just hit me. Okay, we lost a lot of HP there. Not... Not looking so hot, but hey, her. Nothing else here appeals to me. We'll head down to the next floor. Um, yeah, so that's how it's supposed to be done. That is how you do you you melt chocolate without um without having it split. If you don't do it like that, the chocolate can split and it makes it taste horrendous. Um, we got here raw liver. I'm gonna take random here. Smooth stone's pretty good, extra damage, and I think it's um. 50% extra damage to bosses that have under a certain amount of HP. Um, free soul heart there. I'll take this as well. Hey, the tears did apply. We'll definitely take that as well then. Right, and then in here, oh, Proptosis, hell yes. I love a bit of Proptosis. I like the fact that this room has a teleporter in it. Um, yeah, so that's that's the way that you're meant to do it. That's the way that you do it without fucking up the chocolate. So this man, this man, you might be thinking, oh, okay, okay, he puts the pan, he puts the chocolate straight in the pan and melts it and splits it, or he puts it in the microwave and splits it. No, no, no. This man is is um, a, a specialist of doing things wrong. He knows about the bowl trick. He knows about the bowl trick. He does. He knows how that works. But 
he doesn't quite know it correctly. So what he does is he boils the water, uh, as you should in the pan, and puts, puts the pan on the heat so it's got boiling water, and then gets the bowl, puts the chocolate in the bowl, and sits the bowl on top of the boiling water. All sounding pretty good so far. But then he confuses it, thinking that... He then has to... By the way, this is ridiculous. This is just never ending. Um, he then confuses it and thinks that he also has to put water into the bowl that the chocolate is in. So basically what he has now is some chocolate-flavoured water. Like, just basically a ton of water with a bit of melted chocolate in it. And it's disgusting and horrible, and it's just this thing. And he's trying to make a mousse. And so he then puts that... that horrible mixture in with some flour. I think some, some flour. I, I can't remember what it was. I don't think it's flour actually for mousse, is it? Whatever, with, with something else in it. Puts it in some ramekins and lets it set in the fridge. He lets it set. Um, let's go for one more reroll and then we'll leave it there, that floor. Glass eye. I think I'll take the glass eye. Yeah, it was just... Oh, it was horrendously bad. Got you pretty quick. Awesome. And it's just a different version of you. Or the same version, but with enemies. Proptos is killing it right now. Right. Quickly grab this. And I think that's all we need here. Whoa, that sprite was mega fucked. Hey, actual angel deal this time. This is tricky. Honestly, both these items are fantastic. Um, I think I'm going to go with a pride pin just because it's a little more fun. But both rainbow items there, I love them both. And now it's saving money time. Now it's time to save some save some Skrilla. Get as much as we possibly can. Yeah, some of these tier effects are pretty pretty wacky, pretty good. I do like that. Still, Proptosis wins, so we want to be getting up close and personal. Um, oh, we do have an item over here. Awesome. This is tricky. Abandoned box is kind of good. Is that my shadow? It's my shadow. My shadow's so good. What's this? Inadequacy. By the way, if you're wondering why these are all re-rolling, it's because of my uh, my blessing that I've got going on right now. Right. Um, I think I'm just going to go for Aquarius because it's a little easier and it, it might work with Pride Pin as well. But I think I'm going to buy my Shadow. It's not something I was planning on doing, but it's so good. It's so fun. Yay, we are getting some uh, some effects. Look, there's a, a creep's changed color there. The Bible will not go away right now. Uh, we've got the Balloon, which is pretty good. I think we'll take the Balloon. And we got... Sour Patch there as well. I like that too. Okay. Let's go. Oh, the Sour Patch. Oh, no. I thought the Sour Patch ruined my attack tiers then, but it hasn't. It's good. It's all good. But yeah, I think everything's going to be dying very, very quickly here. I think we're going to be mostly fine. Okay. Could all this poison, like, dissipate, please? Holy shit. Good. Good. Few champions in there. I don't really care, but yeah, God, it was just it was just foul. And there's there's been some other messes as well. Someone made um, a version of spaghetti bolognese, but instead they used haggis. And like you might think, eh, well, it's it's that's not that big of a deal. I'm guessing some people are into it, and yeah, they are. But a lot of people don't really like haggis or wouldn't like to try it. Like I think that's I think that's something that most people know about. Um, my shadow, awesome. I still, I, this is the first time I've ever had my shadow since the rework. And it is a fantastic item. Basically, a little shadow follows us. If the enemy touches that little shadow, it spawns little charges. Like that look. And those little charges do some meaty damage. We'll keep 
keep those about. Okay. This one's taking a, a quite a bit of time, actually. This is going to be a bit of a long one, I think. Another devil deal. This one's tricky. I'm going to take Dark Matter. I like it too much. Even though I kind of need the HP. I really like Dark Matter. Right, let's start saving up some money now. I think we need to spend our five cent here. Oh, wait, we're at the shop already? Fuck. Okay. I have spent way too much money this run. We are not going to be donating a lot. Uh, whoopsie. For some reason, I thought we had an extra floor. Whoa, that's a super cool attack pattern there. I love that. They have been reworked a little bit. They have been reworked just a little bit. Yeah, we're not going to be donating a lot of money, but this is going to be a run. Okay, this run might be quicker than I thought it was going to be then, actually. I thought we had an extra floor left yet. Clearly, we do not. Okay, Eternal Heart there, lovely. Oh my goodness. The wreckage that we can unfold here is pretty epic. Yep, get some of those spawning. I love the Forsaken's redesign. It's pretty awesome. Okay, we've got two hands coming in. And a Devil Deal once again. Probably should have taken the quarter there, to be honest. That would have been a not bad idea. Quickly check this out. Bomb these. The potential of a little bit more money. I maybe should have taken the quarter there. I was just a little bit worried about my HP. It's not amazing. Okay. Let's get out of here. Right, hope for the best. 44 isn't too bad, to be honest. It's not tragic. It's not tragic at all. Right. Hey, extra bombs is nice. Take that. That's what I want to see. Okay, I'm, I'm a little more happy now. It's not been quite as tragic as I thought it would be. Oh god, why is everything moving around so much? Okay, the keys. Probably going to have a few of these keys trigger. Whoa, what hit me then? What is going on with my uh, my track there? Remember, we've only got one phase of this guy to deal with, too. Oh shit, they're all keys. I did not realize all of these were keys. This is going to be devastating. Okay, luckily we turned a few of those directly into poops. Certainly helps us. Why is our shot speed at 2? What happened there? Is that just part of the tier effect that we currently have? Oh my lord. For some reason, the frame rate is just not okay right now either. I would have thought I'd be able to handle this a bit, a bit more. I need to get some my reflection action going, but it's really hard on this boss. It's just not really getting close enough to make it work. And if I get too close to him, it's going to tank me. Okay, having feared is pretty good.
The bombs do a good amount of damage. We've not got a lot of them, but... Ow. It's like we've got a trail of hot piss running behind us. I'm not quite sure what it is. Oh my lord, what have I done? I didn't pay attention at all then. Oh, actually, this might have been a strategy. Oh shit, I just realized my health is really, really low here. Okay, we got him, we got him. That was a that was a little bit a little bit more touch and go than, I, than it should have been, shouldn't it? Oh god. Oh god. Little chest unlocked, lovely. Alright, get this to 200. Ah, oh, there's no one look at 200? Damn. Anyways, I hope that was an enjoyable one. Definitely a good run. Little bit of a shorter episode, I apologise. I didn't think we'd quite get over the 25 minute mark, but we did. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.